uh, Mr. Ike, uh, what do you think is the problem behind jailing of Victoria Pavlenko? Yeah, I believe that the uh, Russian government do not like that uh, animal welfare movement is growing because animal welfare movement will cost money. And if from an animal welfare movement it comes to an animal uh, right movement, it will cost even more money on the side of agriculture. Therefore, there is uh, some suppression, what we see now in Russia, and I only can wish that justice win on the end and uh, Ms. Pavlenko will be released. Uh, why do you think that it's our, mm, an interest of certain groups in agriculture to block the movement of welfare active, animal welfare activists? Of course, each measure to uh, create more animal welfare will cost the uh, agriculture sector proportional money. And to be on the free market in a better position, everything will be done to suppress this kind of movement. So do you think there is risk that Russia becomes like China, are completely denying um, any rights or any welfare to, to the whole our animal, our agricultural sector? It seems uh, that Russia is going the same way China uh, is going since many, many years. And uh, when we really look to the uh, Russian legislation, we see no animal welfare uh, legislation at all. Our, some of your colleagues think that our suppression of animal rights activists are, is one of the strategies of Kremlin. Would you agree with this, our, our MEPs, with these politicians who think that it's not just our money of agricultural sector, but also there is a political element in jailing Victoria Pavlenko. Of course, it is same, uh, the human rights activists, they are suppressed because a government which has no movements at all uh, better can lead the government. And this is what in the sense of Mr. Putin, no uh, reaction from uh, the streets he can do what he wants when you have no movement for human rights or for animal rights or for animal welfare. Our Mr. Ike, uh, what uh, the European Parliament can do, and you personally, because you are a very active member of Intergroup for Animals, it's the most representative group. It has 110 our European our MEPs, and it's still growing. So what can you do in this capacity? I wish that we all, especially the members of the Intergroup on the welfare and conservation of animals, but also other members here in the House, that we send a clear political message to the Kremlin, to Mr. Putin, and tell them there is a red line. He not should overstep this red line. He should release Ms. Pavlenko. Thank you.